Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by PureVPN. Now, PureVPN, of course, covers all your online needs, ranging from becoming anonymous online, browsing the web safely while traveling, and so much more. But PureVPN has added three additional services. For starters, Pure Keeps, a digital vault to store all your passwords. Also, Pure Privacy, helping you take back control of your privacy settings while browsing online. And third, Pure Encrypt, a cloud secure tool that encrypts your digital files so that you can safely store them online. Line. Now, PureVPN has gone through a massive rebranding, and to celebrate, they're offering a great promotion for just $1.24 a month on a five year plan that's 89% off. You can enjoy the benefits of PureVPN for all of my subscribers. So make sure, of course, to check out the links in the description down below. Okay, so iOS 16.3 Developer Beta 1 has been out for a little over two weeks, and of course, I've had some time to play around with the software. So in today's video, I wanted to share my experience with the software and also talk about the YouTube community where you guys also provide some feedback on how the software has been working for you. I also like to talk about expected release dates for the next beta and a preview of some of the upcoming features that are still to be added to iOS 16.3. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now I want to start off today's video with a YouTube community poll. Approximately 3,900 of you guys voted and as you can see right here the question of course is how is iOS 16.3 developer beta 1 working for you? Now we have right here a 18% of you guys that say are having a great experience. We have a 7% that say it's okay but there's still some bugs. A 6% say that it's very very buggy and a whopping 69% of you guys are simply not running the beta for iOS 16.3. Now when it comes to problems anything to mention in regards to the software keep in mind we're still in beta one so there's plenty of betas to go around here it looks like the battery department is a little bit mixed bag right so some users are having a great experience with the battery some users are not having such a great experience with their battery so you can always come back to these youtube community polls read some of these comments and if you do comment i would like to hear which device you're using when you comment on these youtube community polls so overall the consensus are mixed here when it comes to battery and performance i I do have to say that in regards to my experience so far, battery has been good within the latest beta and of course performing really, really well because the software is still in beta one, but I haven't encountered any crashing of any applications. I haven't encountered any reboots, any resprings or anything like that. Honestly, no freezing or anything. The battery is okay as well, as I mentioned. So let's just go ahead and talk about the actual features that we're still waiting for Apple to add to iOS 16.3 because there's plenty to talk about here. I want to start off with Apple Pay Link. Later. This is a feature that's coming to Apple Pay later this year with iOS 16.3 and Apple will be adding this feature where you can purchase something and pay it later so that you don't have to pay everything at the moment of purchase. So obviously Apple Pay later as the name implies. Now Apple is looking to also add a savings account to your Apple ID or your Apple account as well with Apple Pay. So we're looking forward to that. Under Apple Music, iOS 16.3 aims to bring a new tier which is Apple Music Classic. We're still waiting on this feature. It was rumored to be launching before the end of the year. It doesn't look like that's going to happen, but Apple Classic should be coming to Apple Music with iOS 16.3. Now, one of the questions I always get is advanced data protection. Will this feature be coming to iOS 16.3 in other countries? Well, right now we have this feature available in the US and it looks like Apple is looking to expand this across the world slowly. Obviously, iOS 16.3 will add additional countries. As we have more information in regards to the countries that will be added, we'll let you guys know, of course, in a follow-up video. Another great feature coming to the iMessage platform will be iMessage contact key verification. So I've talked about this before. This is to protect you from someone eavesdropping on your conversations. Great feature. Your iPhone would let you know if someone is impersonating another person and trying to get information from you, which is a great feature to add to the iPhone. And another great feature that we're hoping to see with 16.3 is custom accessibility mode. Now, this feature is something that we've been waiting on, especially if you're visually impaired. This will allow you to customize your applications and the UI of your iPhone to better suit you right in specific situations so custom accessibility mode should be coming with iOS 16.3 now when can we expect that this software to continue evolving within the beta stages well as of today it is December the 28th we're a few days away from New Year's Apple will continue to be on break here for the next couple of days and maybe even weeks so the next beta if history is any indication it could be launching on 
January the 9th. So January the 9th, 2023. So we're still looking at about a week and a half before Apple releases another beta for iOS 16.3. For those of you that are waiting for the next beta, if you want to jump on iOS 16.3 beta 1, I wouldn't say put it on your primary device, but if you want to test it out, it's definitely a great software. It adds additional security. So we have security keys, which has been enabled. And of course, advanced data protection is here with iOS 16.3 for the US. Overall consensus, the software is on the right path. We're still about a week and a half from the next beta, and we still have plenty of features to go before the software is officially released, which in my opinion will be most likely mid to late February 2023. Thank you for watching, guys. Just a quick one. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.